Society doesn't really normalize ending friendships without this huge breakup or without like something big happening, but it's okay to step away from friendships that don't serve us anymore. Hey guys, what's up, what's going on? My name is Sabrina and welcome to my channel where we talk about everything positive mindset, mental health and law of attraction related. And today I feel really inspired to talk about how to know when to step away from a friendship that you feel may not be serving you anymore, how to go about doing that, and also how to deal with those not so great feelings of guilt a lot of times when it comes down to this. So life is all about change and growth and we are always growing in different ways. And a lot of times we have friendships and we grow in such a way that they don't resonate with us anymore and our relationship don't really serve each other anymore. So it's time to step away and create space for friendships that do serve you. And a lot of times you know that a friendship isn't serving you when say you've like created new habits for yourself or this happens a lot in, I feel like when you're working on yourself and have created you know, new habits for yourself, say that you're trying to quit smoking, or you're trying to quit drinking, and you have friends that you used to always smoke and drink together, and now you're working on yourself and you're trying to quit that. But then when you hang out with your friends, you're kind of tempted to do the same things and they may hold resentment against you for changing yourself. You know, there's conflicting things going on because you guys just don't resonate with each other anymore. Or sometimes also, for example, say that you're trying to change your mindset. You want to have, you know, a more positive outlook. You don't want to complain anymore. You're working to cut out all this negativity, change your language, change how you speak in order to attract better things into your life. And so you're working on yourself. You're doing all these mental things to better yourself and you go to hang out with your friends that you used to you know, gossip about everyone with and, and they're still doing the same thing, complaining about work and how much they hate you know, their junkie car or things like that where you know, it used to be fine with you to talk about, you used to love talking about that kind of stuff, but now as you've been trying to work on yourself to stop doing that, being around that is almost like irritating to you and you're like, guys, like I've been working to not talk about this or I've been working to not put my focus on this. Can we please not do that? And they're like, oh, okay, sure, yeah. But then it just ends up going into the same thing just because that's just their habits. That's just what they're used to. And now you just don't really resonate with them as much anymore. And it goes in a lot farther than this too because when you grow in one aspect, it has all these other ripple effects of you growing in different aspects. And then you don't resonate with them even more. And it's just a constant, you know, like not that you're better than them and not that you're doing better things than them, but you're just growing to a different path than they are. They may be moving in this direction and you are just moving in that direction. And that's completely okay. You know, society doesn't really normalize ending friendships without this huge breakup or without like something big happening, but it's okay to step away from friendships that don't serve us anymore. And also when you find yourself hanging out with someone, just because just out of habit or because you feel like you have to or when you find yourself finding excuses to not hang out with people you know that's a really big pointer that it's time to just walk away and to not have that friendship in your life anymore and it definitely is like a it's a me not you kind of situation because it's not like they're doing anything wrong they're still doing the same things that you did when you first met them and they resonated with you at some point that's why you were friends with them you've just grown into a different person and that's okay and and a lot of times we do have certain friends that will grow with us and that's absolutely awesome but a lot of times we also don't so really understand that it's natural for us to feel bad and to feel guilty for cutting off our friends because it's not like they're trying to harm us or to hold us back in any way but it is more beneficial for us to end it there because it's not only doing a disservice to us but it's also doing a disservice to them and if we hold on to that relationship for longer than we should, we may start to feel resentment against them. Even though they're not really doing anything wrong, we may feel resentment for them doing certain things that may be irritating to us now or that may be holding us back. And you know, that's never a good thing. And also we may be doing a disservice to the people around us because we're not going to be as fulfilled. We're not going to have as a positive impact as we could if we let go of that thing that doesn't serve us. So say that like you are here and you're holding on to this friendship or whatever, this goes for anything that doesn't serve us. But say you're holding on to this thing that doesn't serve you and you're here and you can't really get much higher because of this weight. 
When you let go of this weight, your potential can skyrocket. You know, your potential gets so much bigger. You step into the unknown, which is where magic happens for one. And the universe takes you so much more seriously because it's like, okay, this girl is ready to upgrade her life. Your vibration raises. And not only that, but life is a vacuum. When you let go of something, it's just going to draw something else in. So when you create space like that and your vibration raises because you let go of that thing that doesn't serve you, you were then going to attract something of a higher vibrational frequency into your life and something that resonates with you so much better and so much more. And it will be beneficial to everyone because your old friend that you may have let go of, they're going to find better friends that resonate with them. And so they're gonna be living their great life and you are going to find better friends that resonate with you and you're gonna be living your great life and you will have a better impact on those around you because of that. It's not being selfish, it's really looking out for everyone involved. So it's easiest, I think, for us to sometimes just wean ourselves off of friendships, you know, talk to them less and less and hang out with them less and less because it's not exactly easy to end a friendship, especially with someone that you love and that you care about and that you want the best for. And you know, sometimes you'll get like nostalgia being like, well, we had all these good times and you know, what if I can't find friends that will have such great times together or like they're such a great person, but what if we can, you know, make this friendship work out? It really is like a breakup. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it is beneficial on our all terms. But it's important to know that when you feel that inner knowing, that intuition telling you that it's not serving you and that it is time to step away and to create something new for yourself, you really have got to listen to it because you really will create a much more vibrant reality for yourself when you let go of things that don't serve you. You know, you absolutely can have a conversation with them and let them know that you are ending the friendship, but I feel like that can kind of be more harmful than good because they may get really upset and maybe like very abrupt, you know, they may not have even seen it coming and then you'll feel bad because you're like, I don't want to hurt this person. Like I love them. I want the best for them. And it will really be kind of like a dramatic breakup thing if that happens. So I really would just rather like slowly not talking to them as much, you know, not hanging out with them as much, still having some conversation with them. And when you slowly stop communicating as much with them, they will also start communicating more with other people. They're not going to just not talk to anyone just because you're not talking to them. You know, they will talk to other people and they will find what more resonates with them and then you can kind of, you know, step forward in your life and keep going in the direction you'd like to without making them feel really bad, without feeling super guilty. And it really will be like a win-win situation for everyone involved. And it's really not the easiest thing to do, but it is so, so necessary for our growth and our own personal development. And there definitely can be people that can grow with you, but your intuition and your inner knowing, you will feel in your heart whether or not a friendship is right for you or whether it is something that you need to let go of. They very well may come back in your life at a later time. Some friendships we need to let go of for you know a significant period of time so that we can both grow in the ways we need to and then we can come back together. But it is very important to be able to let go initially so that we can experience that growth that we need to. And if you are still wondering you know, whether or not your intuition is trying to tell you whether you should hold on to this friendship or let it go, which oftentimes if you're even wondering whether you should let it go or not, oftentimes it is telling you you should and your ego may be just be wanting to hold on to it because it's afraid to let go. But I did make a video of how to listen to your intuition if you wanted to listen to it. I will link it below because you can definitely use the techniques in that video to find out whether or not this relationship is serving you or not or whether or not you should let it go but that is it that i have for today guys i really hope this helped you out in any way if it did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button feel free to share it with anyone you feel like may want to hear it and i'll see you in the next video bye